emphasize the math. They might show you the math, but then want you to use basically tables to do it. If they use tables, that's because they're trying to get you away from the financial calculator so that you can basically do it without a calculator, which they might think you're going to, you know, it's not fair to do it with a calculator or they don't want you to have a financial calculator. Uh, or you could do it with Excel worksheets that have a that have a basic function for it, which is really useful in practice, probably what I would recommend most uh, in practice. Or you can use a financial calculator, which used to be really uh, highly used, but I, I almost think Excel might be outweighing it at this point in time, given the fact that you can actually do a spreadsheet on your phone at this point in time. Uh, but financial calculator would be another another method that you can do these calculations. The fact that there's multiple different methods confuses people. People think there's doing different things, even though it's the same thing with just a, a different method. So we'll go through those methods with many of our problems. Just uh, each problem we'll look at, we'll look at with multiple different methods. So you kind of get the idea of what is going on when you could use one method and another, and when you might want to use uh, one of these functions, an annuity or present value of one and whatnot in different situations as well. Bottom line is to understand this stuff, work problems. Work problems over and over again. Even the same problem, just do it again. Keep on working the problems.